effective speaking techniques. The first and foremost advice, control emotions, but make an emotional speech. What comes from heart goes to the heart. Every human being is full of emotions, but an effective speaker cannot afford to be carried away by his own emotions. On the other hand, while exercising poise and maintaining composure, he can stir up his audience to action. His job is to not just to inform, but also to convince and influence his audience. That is how many speeches become memorable. Secondly, share significant experiences or expertise with the audience. This will not only give a personal touch to the speech, but also confidence to the speaker and comfort to the listener. It will make the audience feel important to the speaker. Facts and figures are not enough. If facts and figures have been enough, there would have been no speeches. Anybody can have access to facts and figures. They can just be circulated or blindly stated. They're just like skeleton. It's an imaginative and effective use of language in a speech or writing that breathens the life into that skeleton and supplies with flesh and blood. Many great entrepreneurs, chairpersons, statesmen, scholars are known for their oratory that stems from their command over language. Number four, be enthusiastic. Making an effective speech is not just a matter of doing a duty, performing a ritual. One has to get into the spirit of the occasion with enthusiasm and keen interest. No one likes to listen to a dull or monotonous speaker. But an enthusiastic speaker gets an immediate response. Enthusiasm is contagious. Next, mind non-verbal language. Effective use of gesture is a necessary component for speech, whether prepared or impromptu. Eye contact is indispensable. Anybody aspiring to be a good speaker also keeps training himself in voice modulation, use of proper word stress and gestures. Be brief. Excessive information does not mean that one can go on rambling or going into unnecessary details. Quantity of information and quality of speech. All that is superfluous must be cut out in order to make the speech concise. Every word we speak is valuable and there are no words to waste. Be informal. Informality creates nearness. The occasion may be formal, but the speaker must strive to give his speech a personal touch. Establish a rapport with the audience. Create an impression that will last. Enrich mental equipment. Be a learned or well-informed person, as the old Greek proverb says. Out of nothing, nothing comes. So we must remember that for every occasion and for every kind of speech, the best armament is a well-stocked mind. A mind stocked or equipped with all kinds of information, facts, figures, general awareness, or reading a literature and philosophy, of current affairs, economic and political development, new advancement in science and technology, emergence of new business organization, and so on. Have the right kind of information for the right moment. Cultivate effortless grace and naturalness. Many things like smiling, going to sleep, or behaving unaffectedly are done worse than are. You know? Quite hardest to do them. A cultured person moves and speaks with grace and sounds natural. That face to face with a large selected audience, it is quite natural to be conscious, perhaps over conscious, and for the moment to find it difficult to be natural. Devise own ways to look, move, and speak with grace. Practicing to speak in front of a mirror. Find a per like a popular anchor or personality and and latest are furnish concrete details. Many speakers pile their speeches by talking in abstractions. 
make speech vivid by furnishing details and actual experiences to capture the attention of the audience. Such attention to speech makes it full of life, which is the literal meaning of the word vivid. Make speech lively and brilliant with eye-catching details, humorous anecdotes, relevant examples, and enthusiastic eye-to-eye -eye contact with the audience. Be clear and organized. Answer 5 W's and H. The speech will automatically turn out to be clear and effective. Clarity is the very life of all speech and writing. No listener or reader likes to be caught up in a jumble of confused thinking. Mental training and logical thinking that comes from all good education is a must. Especially in the world of business, clarity of thought is the greatest asset. All powerful speakers religiously stick to the principle, be clear. Similarly, be simple. For clarity of thought emerges simplicity. Simpler the language, the greater is the appeal. A really effective speaker is one who can explain the most difficult or complex matter in the simplest language to a layman. No audience likes to listen to chatter. They can be patient only with the simplest language. Mental fear of the unknown is often what produces the physical symptoms of nervousness. In addition to preparing yourself physically, you need to prepare yourself mentally. The best way to prepare mentally is to know what may be coming. Fear of the unknown can only exist when there is an unknown. 